Hey guys, this is Lana LaRue and this is my week something update. <laughs> I'll put it down there. Um, I don't uh, have a lot to update you on. I'll try and do an update at the end of the month um, with how I've gone this month. So I um, am doing a diet bit uh, with uh, Belly May. Um, so I just want to wait until the month is over just to summarise how I did. But um, sneak peek, it seems to be working, which is good. Um, I have just taken the opportunity while there is no one home in the flat um, to film a body shot. Um, so most of this video is actually going to be that. So um, I am five foot nine, uh, which is 175 centimeters. I uh, my high weight was 291 pounds, 132 kilos, or 20 stone 11, um, and I currently am around 79 and a half kilos, which is I don't know maybe 178 pounds there or thereabouts 12 stone 12 or 13 or something like that I don't know I can't remember I'll put the proper numbers in um and yeah this is what my body looks like at the present awesome I hope everyone's doing well and proper update yes, later this is Lana LaRue uh hopefully this will record um trying to see it on my phone but my phone I'm trying to see it on my watch, but my watch doesn't capture video, so I think I should be in frame. So, I am officially uh, one year and two and a half months post-op RNY, uh, and this is my body. Um, these are the shorts that I wore in most of my first... Um, first body shots and first photos that I took. Uh, I still wear them because they're super super comfortable even though they are massive. Doesn't matter they're stretchy and super comfortable but I'll insert some shots of uh, how they fit in some of the earlier photos. But size they were. I bought them over from New Zealand for me when I first moved over here. Um, so they could be anything. Um, tank top however is small because I don't have any of my old ones. Um, but this is how I'm looking. So there you go, there's the front. So you can see that I've still got a lot of mass in my arms. Um, there we go from the side. My belly doesn't stick out nearly as much, not only from my boobs because they are disappearing. Um, still wear sleepless, my arms don't bother me that much. I wore sleepless tops even at my biggest. Um, there I am from the back. On the other side. And from the front. So that's it fully clothed. Alright, now I'm going to try it in the bikini. And at this point, it's a little bit scary. But that's right. So, this is a um, separate top and bottom that I ordered from Amazon before I went to the States for WLSFA. Um, and I think it is a size 16 on the bottom and I think a 32G cut on the top. Um, weirdly enough, I still need a relatively large cup size, uh, even though it feels like there's like nothing there now. <laughs> Especially compared to the J cup that I did get up to. Um, I find this really funny. I'll show you 
the birds a little bit later. Um, so, this is me from the front. And from the side, take those ones. Uh, my tummy's not too bad. Uh, my butt has disappeared. My legs are still not great. Uh, there I am from the back. Very happy to have these love handles on from the back. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does the job. I like an air hostess. From the other side. And from the front again. Now I'll just show you, hopefully this is still in frame. Okay, I think this is about as far away as I can get or as close as I can get and still be in frame. So I'm gonna show you some of the delightful details. Um, so, tummy, if I pull down the high-waisted briefs, I don't wanna show you anything you don't wanna see. My tummy, in the scheme of things, has probably held up not so bad. It's jiggly, it's loose, but it could be a whole lot worse. So I've got lots of stretch marks um, that have stretched out and then they were going to come back. Um, I have this tattoo which disappeared for a while when I was really big, but it's also come back now. Um, yeah, it's squishy, it's floppy. Um, but I'm not that bothered by it. Um, I might be if I lose a bit more weight and it becomes looser, but for now, uh, in the scheme of things, what are you going to do? Um, my scars wound up quite pale. They are definitely still there, um, but they have faded out a lot. Um, I'll pull that up again. Um, boobs. <laughs> they might look okay in this top, but um, out of it, I mean, they're pretty much origami into there. Um, there is a lot of sort of loose stuff if I bend over this way. So I do have some volume, but I also have a lot of loss of volume. Um, what else? Arms, like I said, they're still pretty chunky. They like to wave. They don't have a lot of definition, um, but they don't bother me, so, oh well. Uh, legs. Legs are probably the <laughs> worse off, um, but they're also the thing that I would be the most scared to try and actually do um, anything to fix in terms of plastics, uh, so I don't see that on the horizon, so I just have to learn to love them. Um, so I've lost a lot in my legs, but that uh, is because there's still a lot to lose. Um, it's all very loose. My butt's loose. Uh, the sheer volume in my thighs is quite funny. So let me pull this chair over. Like if I lift that up, you can see uh, sort of creeping and looseness. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's funny. Um, same, on, whoop, same on that leg. Uh, a lot of it is just skin, but there's still a decent amount of fat in there. And I think there always will be. Um, I honestly didn't even expect to lose as much as I did lose from my thighs, so I really should be thankful. Um, the other thing that happens with my legs now is that the varicose veins have got a lot worse. Um, so I've always had this sort of big varicose vein here. It's got a lot more prominence since losing weight. So it probably was there all the time, but it just wasn't noticeable. <laughs> But that is, it doesn't bother me exactly, but it's definitely quite prominent. So it goes from here all the way down to here. Um, 
It doesn't hurt, but it does quite significantly go over my knee. And I also have some sort of in this area and then lots of spider veins. Um, so my legs are never going to be the traditional pretty picture, but they work. They carry me around. I shouldn't complain. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's my body. A little bit of loose skin on the neck, but what you gonna do? Um, so, that is me. So, these are my old work trousers that I was wearing. Ooh, just realised. <laughs> They're backwards. It doesn't matter. so big it doesn't matter if they're backwards or not but um, <laughs> here we go this is what I was wearing in January 2016 um, and yeah they're big that's what happens what else to say.